Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this particular video, I'd like to talk about a modern classic film straight out of 2006, a 10 years later follow up to the very first movie Kevin Smith ever made in his U.S. Universe franchise of films. That is, of course, Clerks 2. You know, Clerks was not actually the first movie of his I ever saw, even though it was his first movie ever made. Mall Rats takes the cake as being the first movie I ever saw. But around that same time, after I was really getting into that movie, my cousin recommended check out Clerks. You know, it's made by the same guy, and I did. And it was like brain buster. My mind melted with the awesome. I mean, I could relate to it in certain aspects. It was also unlike anything I'd seen before at that point as far as the conversations these characters were having were like the conversations I would have with my friends and stuff like that. And uh, Kevin Smith is a guy, you know, I mean, as directors go, and this is not to demean him in any you know sense of the term, He's us. He's an everyman. You know, it's like if we suddenly got to start making movies, not that all of us are as creative necessarily as him. I, you know, am a writer, but I don't know that I could pull what he has done off. Uh, but in any case, you know, his journey through these sort of explorations of characters and writing, you could see there was a growth process. And uh, I really loved traveling from movie to movie with him on that, from very dramatic stuff like Chasing Amy to absolutely balls-to-the-wall, you know, comedy stuff like Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Um, Dogma, I thought, was a brilliant bridge of this sort of fantasy, religious, uh, you know, comedy, drama thing. It was like a beast all its own. And then you finally get the Clerks. Ten years later, following on from the original Clerks, we're picking up with the lives of Dante and Randall again, who we do see cameoed in Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. But I loved revisiting these characters because out of all of them, besides Jane Silent Bob, of course, Dante and Randall have always been my favorite characters. I always, you know, Clerks is probably hands down my second favorite after Clerks 2 came out of all of Kevin Smith's movies. So, you know, Clerks 2, it just came out at a perfect time where, you know, I'm still younger than those characters, but they're in the spotlight of the years I'm starting to get into, you know, my 30s and everything like that, uh, mid-30s, basically. And really the center point of this whole film is that even after 10 years later, 10 years having gone by, the clerks, those original two clerks, are still, you know, working as clerks. Uh, of course, their sort of quick stop store that the original clerks took place in has burned down because of a malady left over, uh, you know, from Randall. Basically, he left the coffee maker on or coffee pot, whatever, and it burnt the place down. So they have now taken a job by clerks to in a movies restaurant. Basically, it's kind of like McDonald's. And seeing the journey that Dante's gone through of, he thinks. You know, he's thinking all this time, by the time Clerks 2 happens, that he's got to get out of New Jersey. You know, that's his big thing. It goes back to either crap or get off the pot, which was kind of where they left off with the first movie. Well, he never got off the pot. Now he's kind of feeling like, I have to do it now, because if I don't, I never will. And he's making the wrong choice, which is the exploration of Clerks 2, really, at its core, and his relationship with his best friend, Randall. And because of their ages, you know, there's that whole level of, well, we're not kids anymore. We can't just go out to the playground and make new friends, and you're leaving me high and dry, and that kind of thing. And it's really just an awesome, awesome flick. I mean, he even, Kevin Smith even puts in a sort of musical number uh, with a Jackson 5 song that is just brilliant. You have, of course, uh, Brian O'Halloran and Jeff Anderson reprising their roles as Dante and Randall, but you also have a whole host of other people, you know, in the showcased in this film, uh, not least of which is, of course, Rosario Dawson, who just wins your heart over immediately. As soon as seeing her on screen, you have absolute believability that Dante would be head over heels for her, even though he's in sort of another situation that he's going to get out of. You have, of course, Jay and Silent Bob back in there, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith himself. Uh, you know, lots of great cameos. Jason Lee, Ben Affleck as... What I've always, you know, suspected was his character from a non-Kevin Smith film, one of his first films, Glory Days, uh, which was another, you know, half-decent flick in its own right, where essentially you had, like, French Stewart and uh, Sam Rockwell, Alyssa Milano, and other, you know, such people. Um, 
But I mean, Ben Affleck shows in shows up in this movie, and and I think he looks like that character, which I think is funny because I think in uh, you know maybe one of the comics or something like that, you see the Quick Stop stores that the clerks worked at in the first Clerks movie, and in sort of the rental movie place window, there's a poster for that movie, Glory Days. So uh, I love that there are homages to where Kevin Smith has been, where he's going. We're seeing an evolution of these characters. And I love the vibrant colors. I love the emotional core. By the end, you know, I got to tell you, it got me misty-eyed. I mean, it made me appreciate this film much more because it kind of took that irreverent wit from the first Clerks. It took the outlandish kind of, uh, you know, dick and fart joke comedy of Jay and Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And it married it all together with the same kind of dramatic core as depicted in Chasing Amy. A thorough evolution of the view of the universe and all of these characters. And I really am looking forward to Clerks 3, which I hear is probably in the works as of the time of this recording. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you're a fan of Kevin Smith, what you think of Clerks 2? Is it your favorite movie of his or do you have another? And otherwise, I hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch you later. Peace.